Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thank all the people who have subscribed to my channel and to those who gave feedback to my videos. My videos were created based on what I learned when I play and also from the other Roblox experts who share their experiences as well. In that note, you can see the different YouTubers sharing almost the same idea. So continue watching my video guys. Let's get started. Today I'm gonna show you how to make don't press the button game in Roblox Studio. So before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe and turn notifications to all to see my videos. So let's start. Let's get started. So to make don't press the button game in Roblox Studio, you need you need to go on Roblox, then press create, and and you will see the the it says start creating, and it, you will press manage my games. And if you press manage my games, it will show all of your games right here. Okay, so now press library. Then search don't press the button kit and I recommend I recommend you guys use this this one that has no that has no favorites and likes and dislikes it's it's made by Zack the master 241 I get it right now if you get it before you go back on our black studio then you will press inventory beside this marketplace then you need this map okay so right here on ungroup okay let's delete the base click first okay so right here your map named ungroup so it means we need to ungroup it so let's ungroup it or you can press ctrl u okay so ungroup in chat so it means we need to put this on chat ungroup in lightning means and uh, we will put this on lightning ungroup in starter GUI and uh, We'll put this on starter GUI. Ungroup in workspace. We'll put this on workspace. And now we need to ungroup all of this or control you. Ungroup that. Ungroup that. Ungroup that. Yeah, just like that. And we're gonna customize it, but we cannot customize it because we can't see because of the screen GUI. We need to move the screen GUI on workspace first so we can customize it properly. You can customize the map properly okay so let's customize it right now so let's add some disasters so on, on test one and test two you need to delete you need to delete the part okay so let's add some disasters for, for test for test one okay so right here i'm gonna make the player spawn right here uh, yeah just like that and on explorer if you don't have the explorer you have to press view then press explore so on explorer you will drag the player on test one just like that now you need to add a disaster on test two i'm gonna add some like drilling zombie drilling zombie um okay right here I'm gonna make the zombie spawn right here and then I'm gonna drag it to test 2 yeah, just like that and you can also change the time okay so on properties I'm gonna change the wait time into 20 and on test 1 I'm gonna change the wait time into 15 yeah just like that and let's go ahead and play this game let's see if this works Let's press and the player spawns right there and and also if it becomes green it may be the zombie will spawn there or the player will spawn here again if it becomes green the player yeah it done so it, uh, to add more disasters you need to duplicate the test to duplicate it then uh, rename it to test 3 you can add many disasters Okay, so delete the drilling zombie and I'm gonna change it to banana, I think. Okay, so drag it to test 3. And just like that, I'm gonna show you because if my video gets 6 minutes, it will be boring. So that is how you make your own don't press the button game in Roblox Studio. So guys, that's it for the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn notifications to all to see my videos. And see you! Bitch, I'm not gonna feel like I walk away. I'm talking your bitch, and he like I'm a target. Walk with the block, I don't fuck around.